let's just get straight in it. Yeah. All right, here we got Spotify.me where you can see Spotify lifetime and your recent listening. So as you can see, the first thing you're gonna see is your top artists, which for me is Kanye. Uh, then you find your top track. And after that, you go to your streaming habits where you can see how much time you've been listening to stuff. And then we have, here's how you listen. You, you can see how many of your tracks are danceable or the amount of energy that's in your tracks, the tempo your BPM and then you can see what your top genre is along with five other genres now you are what you stream I guess you can see what kind of moods you're at and you have the option to save your playlist to the actual Spotify that's basically this one on to the next one here in obscurifymusic.com you can immediately see your top 10 genres you can see your obscurity rating you can see your moods which happiness Whoa, minus 24.5% lower than the country average, which is probably true. I, yep, a lower energy too. You can see your energy levels, danceability, and acousticness. After that, it gives you some recommended music. And the third website is Skilly, where you can see your playlist ranking. Here I can see my, I think this is all time, it's the exact same as the other website which I guess shows the validity of it and how trustworthy it is. Oh you can see your top artist from the last hours, 4 weeks, 6 months, and your all time, your top genres too and tracks. So yeah this is like pretty fun, this is probably the best tab on this thing. Then you have history where you can see everything you've listened to at the exact date and time. These are all from today. And that was it. Bye.